Hello everyone, DCFan99 here, bed edition, because I can't be fucked to get up and active for this. But, um, the NFL a few days ago, or last week rather, they announced uh, the actual date that they were going to release the schedule. And I thought that was pretty interesting because, at least from what I remember, they never actually announced the date. It would just be randomly dropped and... All we knew about it was they would usually drop the schedule before the draft, like a week or so before the draft. But um, I was pretty excited for it, uh, at least until they mentioned that it was going to be a three-hour-long series on NFL Network. But why? <laughs> why? But thankfully, it's already posted. It's right here in, in front of me on the Dallas Cowboys site. Um, so this is my, I usually do like a pre-draft season predictions, but that doesn't really work here. So I'm just going to call this the pre, pre-season <laughs> schedule predictions. Cause usually I do one before the draft and I do one bef uh, after the preseason, right before the season starts. So anyways, I got the schedule right here. I'm scrolling down. Week one, we're playing in LA against the uh, against the Rams, and that's a Sunday night game too. Um, that's in their brand new stadium too. Holy shit! <sighs> right off the bat, I I see that being a challenge for us. I, I mean, it's the Cowboys have uh, they've been known to start off slow in the, uh, you know, in the first game of the season. I don't know, the, the Rams, they lost so much, though. They lost Todd Gurley. Todd Gurley is with the Falcons now. They lost uh, Brandon Cooks, his name is. Um, I don't think it's going to be pretty. Mike McCarthy's first game as a Cowboy, I don't see it being pretty, personally, but honestly, I see us winning that game. Uh, week two, up against the Atlanta Falcons, with Calvin Ridley, Julio Jones, and uh, um, I just said it, Todd Gurley, all three of them being on that offense, I just see us struggling. I, I just, I think it's going to be competitive, but looking, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if this, you know, the secondary will be ready. So, you know what, I, I'm just going to say we're going to start off one-on-one, -on -one, one and -on one to open the season. Week three, Dallas Cowboys going against the Seattle Seahawks, playing in Seattle. Um, that's that's a tough game. Seattle. I mean, I fucking hate the Seahawks, dude. But the Seahawks are like um, one of those teams that just always give us a fucking hard time. Honestly, I see it as being one of those. Um, I I see it being sort of similar to that game in two thousand fourteen, uh, where we. You know, going as the underdog. It's going to be a great, great fucking competitive match. But in the end, I see us pulling, uh, pulling out the win. So that's 2-1. and one. Week 4 against the Cleveland Browns. That's going to be 3-1. and one. That's playing in Dallas as well. Okay, so now our first... Our first game against a division rival playing in Dallas. I like that. Going up against the New York Giants. The first time we go up against Jason Garrett. Uh, since, for those of you who don't remember, he's the New York Giants offensive coordinator now. I think after... I think we're going to be on a hot streak. I think after the Atlanta Falcons bitch slap us, I think we're going to go on on a three-game win streak against Seattle, Cleveland, and the New York Giants. New York Giants, 
I don't know. That that might be a tough matchup. But I see us pulling uh pulling out the win in that game as well. Fuck. <laughs> Monday night football. Cowboys against the Arizona Cardinals playing in Dallas again. Ah, uh, shit. Because the Arizona Cardinals, dude, they have DeAndre Hopkins now. Um, along with Laramie, Laramie, Larry Fitzgerald, shit. Um, but I'm not sure if they're going to develop uh, Kyler Murray enough. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyways, never mind the dogs in the background. Um, Cardinals versus Cowboys. That's going to be a tough game. That's probably going to go into overtime. But... I don't know. I, you know... I'm going to take Dallas. So let's see. That's 5-1. and one. Five and one, I believe, going into week seven. Uh, Dallas Cowboys playing uh, in Washington against the Redskins. Fuck, who the fuck is... <laughs> this is the thing. Who the fuck is Washington's quarterback this year? Is it Case Keenum? Right? I'm pretty sure it's Case Keenum. Um... I don't know. I just see our defense really standing up against uh, Washington. I don't. I don't think that they're really going to be doing too much against this team. Because I'm just. I'm thinking of Washington's offense, and I'm like, who? Do, who do they even have? They have Josh Doxson. Did they still have that? Uh, that badass tight end, Jordan Reed. Do they um do they still have Adrian Peterson? I don't I I just see I just think that we can handle all of those guys to be honest even even after losing Byron Jones we're going to struggle for sure yeah but I don't know dude fuck it <laughs> winning up against Washington our second loss of the year I just don't see it being Washington uh, Sunday night, Cowboys versus Philly playing at uh, Lincoln Financial Field. <sighs> Philly always plays tough, dude. Doesn't matter what the fucking record is. For a team that's going to give us our second loss of the year, it's most likely going to be the Eagles. So that being said, that's that would be what six and two, right? We gate, yeah, six and two. So uh, loss against the Eagles. This is a very interesting game coming up week nine. Cowboys versus Pittsburgh, playing in AT and T Stadium. The last time we hosted the Steelers at our stadium. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe that was 2013. So, seven fucking years ago. Jesus. Um, this is, I mean, this is going to be a really tough game. Or, no. <laughs> nah, you know what? Pittsburgh, usually it is a tough game. But I, I see us bitch slapping them. I mean, you guys have heard me said it before. Mike Tomlin, in my opinion, is basically a black Jason Garrett. That's just the way I see it. A cheerleader coach, rides on the coattails of his players' success. Couldn't, couldn't even do anything with Roethlisberger and uh, Antonio Brown and Le'Veon Bell as cancer as all of them are. They had just... They had transcendent talent. And... Uh, yeah, he basically just fucking wasted it. So, 
Yeah, we're going to bitch slap Pittsburgh, and it is going to be very, very satisfying to watch. Next, we have the Cowboys versus the Minnesota Vikings playing in Minnesota. Fuck, dude. I I really hope that... Um, I, I, I really hope that we can get some revenge after they beat the shit out of us practically last season. I think because of how familiar Mike McCarthy is with the Minnesota Vikings, I the, compared to him and Jason Garrett, I am way, way more going into U.S. Bank Stadium and beating the Minnesota Vikings with Mike McCarthy than I would ever be with fucking um, with Jason Garrett. I just think that since he has their number, he could probably sniff them out pretty well. So I'm, I'm going to say that's a win too. We have a very fucking late bye week, don't we? Hold on, where's our bye week? Did I just completely miss it? Week five, week four, week three. What? Sorry, I I'm trying to find it. Week four, week five, week six, week seven, week eight, week... Okay, week ten. Week ten is our bye week. That's all right. So week uh, ten is our bye week. I have us winning up against the, the Minnesota Vikings. So that would be eight and two. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving game. Once again, we're going up against the Washington Redskins. We, I don't know what it is, but we usually always struggle. Uh, we always fucking struggle, usually during um, uh, Thanksgiving game. As always, playing in uh, AT&T Stadium. I think I feel like the Redskins will put up more of a fight, but I think we're going to uh, sweep them this year. And then Cowboys versus Ravens. Fuck, dude. They they have some very good running backs. Um Lamar Jackson, he's a very talented quarterback as well. Um The thing is, I I think that they're I think that the Ravens are a great team. But for some reason, they, they, they just they just cannot pull through in the postseason. I don't know if it's just lack, lack of experience or what. And oh, by, <laughs> by the way, remember when Cowboys fans wanted us to pick up Earl Thomas? I, I'm, I'm not going to go into the Earl Thomas story. If, if you haven't heard of it, just look it up, okay? I, I really don't want to tell it, <laughs> but... But Cowboys fans, Law Nation in particular, this is your guy? This is your fucking... Uh, I'm not going to go into details. I'm not even going to fucking mention any of the stories. I'm just going to say that's a loss. Uh, <laughs> fuck. What are we now? Nine and three? Nine and three. Uh, going into Cincinnati. Um, uh, Sunday, 12 o'clock. I see us winning. Uh, so that's... 10 and 3, right? 10 and 3. Oh, shit. Week 15. Fuck! That's a Sunday night game, too. Holy shit. Last time we played San Francisco and uh, AT&T Stadium, correct me if I'm wrong, was... It was the season opener 2014. And they fucking bitch slapped us so hard. We got, oh my god, we got fucking annihilated by the, by the Niners. the The score may not say that, but I mean, it it was it was pretty painful to watch. Needless to say, fuck, dude. <laughs> god damn, that's gonna be such a tough game. But going up against, I, I usually shy away against the top tier opponents, the top opponents. But that was back in the Garrett days. Going against the 49ers with Mike McCarthy. I think he's going to put up one hell of a fucking fight. Uh, 
Oh, man. That's going to be so fucking tough, though. That's going to be one of the biggest games, too. It's probably going to be one of the more exciting games to watch as well. Overtime. Oh, man. I see the Niners winning it. I don't know. Just the, the weaknesses we have uh, defensively, I feel like that they're, they're going to haunt us. You know, so... Yeah, it's it's going to be close. I think it's going to be a very tight match. But I just see the 49ers pulling through. So, what is that? 10-3, and 11-3. So that's 11-4, uh, and four, right? No. The fuck it? 10-4. Yeah, it's 10-4. and four. Okay. Uh, Eagles versus Cowboys playing in AT&T Stadium. I see us splitting with the Eagles. Yeah, yeah I see us splitting with Philly. Um, so that's 11-4. and four. And then finally, last game of the year, Cowboys versus Giants. 12-4 and four season. Which... In my opinion, that that is not a bet. That is not a shabby start at all uh, for, you know, Mike McCarthy for his career in Dallas. And who knows? Hopefully, we can make a, a decent run in the playoffs. I already have this thing going on in my channel. If you're new, if the Dallas Cowboys ever make it past. The divisional round with a Jones family member running this team, I will fucking shave my head. But until that happens, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be filming the annual Dallas Cowboys funeral with my friends. It will happen after this season too. I don't give a fuck if there's a pandemic or not. I'll I'll, I'll grease them down with a Lysol. How about that? Um, or Lysol Purell, I mean. Well, both. Fuck it. I'll spread them down. <laughs> But yeah, 12 and 4, not bad at all. This is a relatively easy schedule, I would say. But there are definitely some uh some tough matchups that we have to go up against. But overall, I think that we're going to do um I think we're going to do do exceptionally well. Especially uh, against the Browns. Cleveland and Pittsburgh in particular so anyways that's my thought Th those are my thoughts on the Cowboys season prediction this video is way too long I apologize but let me know what you guys think I'm excited um oh one more thing people are speculating that the NFL uh if they're gonna have a season which I think they most likely will they're not going to allow any of the fans uh, inside the stadium, which I'm totally all for. I mean, you know, we don't need the fans at the fucking stadium. But with that being said, if you're still going to broadcast these games, you better have some fucking audio to supplement the the uh, the commentary with, okay? I mean, it, it's, it's going to be painful to fucking watch watching these two teams dug it out in a painfully quiet stadium and all you're listening to is fucking Troy Aikman and Joe Buck's breathing in the microphone. A couple simple fixes for this. You have to either A, play some music in the background. I don't give a fuck what music it is. I don't, I, I don't even care if it's Mobamba or if it's penis music or if it's the bruh sound effect. I don't care. You just have to have... I don't care if it's a laugh track like from Big Bang Theory or some bullshit, you have to have some audio uh, playing in the background. Either that, or you can go the Atlanta Falcons route back a couple of years ago, and you can uh, have like these speakers in the stadiums uh, play uh, basically just fan sound bites and, and make it sound like that, uh, uh, you know, there are fans at the stadium cheering. And I think that the players would be more comfortable with that too but the thing is <laughs> imagine if a big play happens you know you have to have some dude like you know controlling it on like a remote or whatever 
you know, controlling the volume. Uh, if a big play happens, just, you know, the fucking volume skyrockets. But you have to have some fucking audio playing along with the commentary or else it's going to be painfully fucking awkward. I'm telling you right now, NFL, you better have something else to accompany the commentary or it's going to be goddamn painful. Every week is going to be a, a grind to muscle through watching your favorite sport, and it shouldn't be that way. So anyways, that's just my thoughts on that. Totally irrelevant topic, but um, anyways, let me know what you guys think about the upcoming season. Um, I'll see you guys next time, and peace.